Eamon Targaryen has quickly become one of the most loved and hated characters in the House of the Dragon universe. A misunderstood young man, who after a negligent behavior, was the cause of the beginning of the Dance of the Dragons. But what would you think if I told you that in the next season, the young prince could become a cruel and ruthless version? What happens when Daemon Targaryen takes revenge for what happened to Lucerys, and unknowingly ends up destroying what is most important to Eamon? In this video we will be talking about what will happen to Eamon in the next season of the House of the Dragon. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. If the first season of the House of the Dragon has made one thing clear, it's that coincidences and accidents can lead thousands of people into battle. But what could happen with Eamon, more than an accident, is an indirect damage that he would suffer, after losing the most important thing. But what do I mean? For a long time, we have heard how Eamon is one of the most cruel and ruthless warriors of the Greens, at least that's how it is shown in the books. But in the series, he appears to be calmer, and to have much more honor and respect. This is about to change. To understand what exactly could happen to Eamon, we must transport ourselves to several scenes, when he was just a child. His siblings, Aegon and Helena, were engaged and married. But Aegon never respected Helena. He spent his days in different brothels, or even worse, drunk and with other women while the now queen spent her days in her room. But we saw several scenes in which Eamon and Helena exchanged glances, as well as some moments in which Eamon defends her, such as the moment when Rhaenys threatens them with the dragon. After several clues, many have theorized that Helena's children are really Eamon's children. It is here that revenge could cause direct harm to the young man, without even intending it. In our previous video, we talked about how Daemon set in motion a plan to take revenge on the Hightowers. If you want to know in detail how this plan was carried out, I will leave the link in the description. Daemon, after learning of the loss of Viserys, contacts an old ally Lady Missaria, as she would be known from that unfortunate moment on. This woman hired two people who had nothing to lose, to enter the Red Keep, with a cruel objective. An eye for an eye, a son for a son. They went into Queen Alicent's room, took the life of one of her maids and sat down to wait for their target. Queen Helena entered the room accompanied by her children, while calling her mother Alicent. But Alicent was tied up and could not notice that two men were waiting for her. Helena was accompanied by her three children, Jaehaerys, Yahira, and the youngest Mailer. Helena was carrying the youngest in her arms, when suddenly she heard a noise. The man known as Blood, attacked the royal guard, and Cheese took the baby Mylier from her hands. Alicent and Helena were confused, they did not know what was happening and began to ask the men who they were. Debt collectors, they replied. An eye for an eye, a son for a son. The men told Helena that she would have to give the life of one of her two sons as payment for the life of Lucerys. Obviously, Helena begged them to take her life, but the two men were not interested in touching the queen. They only wanted to settle the score. Next, both Cheese and Blood threatened Alicent and Helena. If she did not choose one of her sons, they would finish them all. Between tears and pleas for sympathy, Helena mentioned Mylair's name. After all, he was a young boy and would not be the heir to the throne. The importance of the eldest son is something we have learned throughout this story. Hearing this, Cheese approaches Mailer and says, Your mother wants us to finish you. Did you hear what I said? 
Then, Blood begins to laugh, grabs the eldest son Jaharis, unsheaths his sword, and ends his life. Then the two men escaped from the room. Helena lost her mind in that instant, she never regained her sanity. This is what is said in the books, but as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, in the House of the Dragon, coincidences and accidents are the order of the day. If Helena's children are really Eamon's children, what will happen when the young prince finds out what has happened to one of his children, and that the woman he loves has lost her sanity forever? We even don't have to get to the point if they are really his children or not, the mere fact that they attack his nephews during the night, and that Alicent and Helena were witnesses, would be enough to want to take Vagar, and fly to Dragonstone to burn everything down. Just as the end of Lucerys was a before and after for the Dance of the Dragons, Blood and Cheese are a before and after for the House of the Hightowers. This is the first strike from Rhaenyra's side. A strike ordered by Daemon, which proves that the rogue prince is not only dangerous with his sword, but his allies could even do more damage than the same Dark Sister's blade, Daemon's sword. As the days passed, Blood was arrested while trying to escape from the King's Landing, with a memory of what he had done that day. After several days of interrogation, he confessed that he was hired by Lady Miss Arya, for misery has come to the House of the Hightowers and that he intended to escape to Harenhal, to collect the reward from Prince Daemon. It was then that the search for Cheese and Lady Miss Arya was ordered, so that they would pay for these cruel acts. What happens next, only resembles the conquest of Aegon and his arrival in Westeros. But this is a story for another video. In retrospect, the Dance of the Dragons is full of sad coincidences and events that led to many innocent people losing their lives. With that said, it may be that Eamon, by finishing off Luke, unwittingly and unknowingly brought the end of his eldest son, or nephew. Every action has its consequences, and in the Game of Thrones, you either win or lose your life. These scenes of cheese and blood, I suppose, will occur in the first episode of the second season of The House of the Dragon. A season that will be a direct battle between the two sides. Large-scale military confrontations, as well as betrayals and more personal attacks. Now the green side knows that Rhaenyra's side is willing to do anything, so they will do everything possible to stop them. Of course, one question remains on the table. Did Rhaenyra know the rogue prince's intentions? Did she approve the order to end the life of Helena's son? And how far is a person willing to go for revenge? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.